Monday Night Raw was very interesting. Um, so welcome on into Raw Thoughts. I am, of course, your wonderful host, Josh Reese. Uh, it's going to be a quick Raw Thoughts. It's cold where I live, so I'm ready to get back home. And I had to watch uh, a little bit on delay today because I had to do some work before uh, I watched Monday Night Raw. But the uh, the lasting image of Monday Night Raw before Fastlane was a crew member telling Ronda Rousey to hold her title belt up while she's pointing at the sign. I thought that was kind of funny. Um, I can't think of very many times that I've watched um, wrestling so far that they've ended a show with a backstage segment where they're interviewing um, Stephanie McMahon. That was kind of strange. It was a little bit weird. The biggest takeaway I have from Monday Night Raw today was the fact that I... I know I'm still new in this whole wrestling fandom, um, but I was under the assumption that if you win the Royal Rumble, that you automatically get a title shot and you get a main event spot in WrestleMania. However, Becky Lynch won, and they've taken that away from her. They're going to make her face... Charlotte, and if she loses, she won't even be in the match at WrestleMania. I I don't understand. I don't understand it at all. I'm I'm kind of confused. What's the point on the Royal Rumble then if it doesn't mean anything? I don't know. Um, tonight's promo by Ronda Rousey was probably the best promo she's cut since she's been in the WWE. Uh, I enjoyed her. It looks like she's turning heel, maybe? I don't know. It was kind of nice to see, though. Um, but, yeah, that was that was pretty much it on the, on the last match or on the last segment tonight. Other takeaway I had was uh, the NXT guys, Aleister Black and Ricochet, they got a... Title match today, but it was broken up by Bobby Roode and Chad Gable, who turned heel, maybe? Or maybe they're just annoyed faces. I'm not really sure. Um, so I guess there's going to be a storyline between that, uh, with that fairly soon. Maybe that's going to be a, a match at, at the pay-per-view. I don't know. I don't even know what matches are going to be at Fastlane, to be honest. I really don't. The only other thing of note that really happened on Monday Night Raw tonight was um, The Shield getting back together. I'm, as people might have known, uh, if, if they've uh, watched me on, on the podcast I used to do with Andrew and them, I'm not, I'm not really much of a Shield fan. Never really got it, so it really didn't mean anything to me. But uh, I guess it is nice that... Uh, if Dean Ambrose is leaving, that they're finally uh, getting together one last time before Dean leaves. So, I mean, I, I guess that's nice just for symmetry. They started together, and now they're going to end together. Um, so, that's pretty much all I, I, all I have for Raw Thoughts. I appreciate everyone for uh, giving this a watch. I hope you enjoy my content, and uh, hopefully you will uh, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, one of the things I'm thinking about doing coming up soon, I don't know if I'm going to do a written post on maybe uh, the uh, the website or if I'm going to do another video or something like that. But I was thinking about doing like uh, the top five wrestlers of the week or maybe the top five things from the week, something like that. I don't know. Shoot me some ideas. We'll, we'll think of something to have a little more content. But uh, thank you for guys. Thank you for giving this a watch.